Do 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 Gonna be clubbing all night, clubbing all night till the sun fucking comes up, clubbing all night. Alright, check this motherfucker out. <clears throat> I got it parked under kind of a half ass tree parking job here, so I'll get it out further, but right now I just got it home and I'm so excited that I had to share this with you. So uh, I don't know what the fuck this thing is designed after, a clown car maybe, uh, but it is a golf cart and it's unique. I mean, literally, check this bitch out from the back. Uh, that is a fiberglass shell with like a window, uh, it's like a single window in the back and it's got real lights. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm using my gay phone for the camera thing. It's just a retarded phone. Anyways, uh, these lights, everything lights up. If you get batteries in, of course. But uh, apparently there was uh, the golf club holders. Uh, they're, they've been removed and, uh, you know, uh, oh, I got a message. And <clears throat> anyways, got some damage here. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking. I think it's a piece of conduit. And they bent it to kind of help reinforce this broken edge, but it is fiberglass, so it's repairable. Because I know how to do that shit. That's easy. Uh, it came with the charger, which is a plus. It came with uh, crushed beer cans, which is also I don't know I don't know what category that falls into, but it's still something. And uh, the seats aren't really too bad. Uh, they these just have to be washed, and. <clears throat> I guess I think I'm sucking too many dicks. That's why I'm clearing my throat. Uh, as you see, the charger did it, its home was up there for a long time. But uh, this seat here, a yeah, little upholstery. I don't know. I got some black. I put some black on there. But there's your reverse and your forward, uh, your go pedal, your brake, and I don't know what the fuck that is. It, it doesn't do anything. It's like a clutch pedal. Maybe they had clutches in the cert the gas ones. Open, but here it is. Look at that. One, two, three battery bays or trays, and each one holds two six volt batteries. So a total of uh, you're gonna need six six volt batteries to run this 36 volt system. But I do not have those, and I do not want to buy those because I'm so fucking cheap. And anyways, they're very expensive. God, look like some Arkin went on in there. Ooh, ouchies. Good lord. That shit got burned. Let me see if I, I don't think I can turn the camera light on on this thing. But damn. Something got shorted in there. Fucking stop messaging me. I will get to you when I'm ready. Anyways, it looks like if I put batteries in it, it may work. Other than that, I don't know what that is. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to go run to Walmart because Walmart has deep cycle maintenance battery dealy bobbers that you put in like your motorhome and uh, they are only $79 for a 12 volt. So we're going to put three 12 volt batteries in this and they're rated at 109 Amp hours, that's one amp draw, of course. Anyways, uh, they should run it. And, and plus it'll be lighter because you don't have all that fucking lead and those six volt batteries are enormous motherfuckers. They are heavy. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go to the store real quick. I'll be back. Well, I just got back from our favorite store in the whole wide world, uh, Walmart, and got me these, uh, deep cycle fucking batteries now they're rated here at looks like 109 amps per hour now it's on a one amp draw but that's more than perfect it's got like 750 cold cranking amps or something like that but this these these goddamn motherfuckers are are what i need uh, and three makes the uh 36 volts also went to napa cost me 18 something because it's uh, a rip off there anyways um, they, they you know and, and okay what's what's making me mad right now is you go there and you want two of something or three or four and they never have 
more than just one. So I had to buy a black and I had to buy a red. Because they didn't have fucking two reds or two blacks. They, that's all they had. One and one. And plus the length. Uh, I guessed on that. I decided to go with the two foot, which is 29. But when you pull these things out, it's never 29. It's like fucking 26, 24. They, they lie to you. So I, I don't think they count the... Maybe they don't count the ends. I don't know. But uh, so it's uh, two 24s and... Uh, Three batteries. All this came to 300 bucks total. Wow, right? Fuck, I got ripped. So I'm going to go clean the golf cart off and we'll put them in. See what else we can find with damaged and what made this thing get stuck in the fucking barn. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I uh, washed this pig. And uh, first thing I just want to show is the seats. Oh, my God, they came out so nice, pretty. Uh, no upholstery needed on this thing. I think I'm just gonna keep it how it is. That, that seat there, fucking sparkling. So fuck it, I ain't upholstering it. But fun is over. Look at this. These guys rode it hard, man. They had some serious fun with this bitch. So we got melted wire here. We got melted wire back in here. We got something broke. I don't know what this is, or this is metal or not. It feels like like fiberglass-ish type shit, baby. And then we got a broken spring in my bobber. I don't know how that hooked on. More welted wire. I don't even know how some of this stuff's gonna have to go. We got wires that went back to the motor. And then I saw this. I was like, hmm, what is this? What is this? Huh? What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? You know, what, what is that? What is it? What is it? Look at that fucking, that is huge. That is a brake line. That's hydraulic fucking brake lines. And you can't see it from the motor, but it does go back to the tires. And it's hydraulic, and I gotta fucking figure out what's wrong with it, because it ain't working, so I need to drain it and fill up with good shit and re-bleed it if there is a way. Oh, I love cable brakes. Let's see. And we got more melted wire here. More melted. What happened? Did we have a sh battery fall over? And that ain't even hooked on. That ain't even hooked on. I don't know if that even is supposed to go. That's barely even tight in there. It fucking moves. That's uh, your Ford selector. Reverse Ford shit. We got crimp job from hell there. I don't even know how this goes, man. Fuck. That's probably how it burned up. Some asshole tried to fucking hook it up and didn't know what he was doing. Burn it shit. It's all aluminum though. Aluminum battery box trays. Aluminum frame. That's really cool. I mean everything's aluminum. It's so lightweight. So you got aluminum frame. Aluminum battery boxes. The axle is aluminum too. It's a uh, nice shiny aluminum. This thing is lightweight. It actually is. I could, you know, I I, I can manhandle this fucking thing and without ease. Look at even the wheel well. Aluminum seat backs. Aluminum fiberglass and aluminum. This son of a bitch is light. The only thing that's steel are the rims. I bet you could probably get some aluminum ones. This thing's gonna haul ass. Especially with those fucking batteries that I got. Those things don't even weigh that much. It's kinda weird, you got the window. It's got a little rear view mirror. With like these little titties on the back. I don't know what those do. They, they don't light up. I think they're just for looks. There's no wire going to them. So a little, little titty mirror. Cool. Uh, steering wheel. No, no, normal. Yeah, a nice green dash key. Uh, you got your light switch there. Looks like a horn button, maybe? I don't know what that button is over there. And yeah, of course, the aluminum cans. And it's got a crow's foot charger. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm gonna start digging into this some more. Uh, start replacing wires. <sighs> see if we can get this son of a bitch to move 
but we got no brakes, so let's not go too fast. I just have to say, I mean, I don't know if I've already said it, but this thing looks like a fucking clown car. It looks pathetic, but you know, in another way, it looks fucking awesome. I mean, you never see anything like it. It's got a hard top. Uh, it's just, it's cool. Here, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at beer, beer holders, right here. When you're out golfing, you just set your fucking beers in there. I don't know what they are. I don't know why the fuck so many drilled holes. And that's the access for the brakes. I don't know why they would have done that. Light, activate. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck. That's a lot of wiring in there too. Where did that go to? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is that for the brake controller for all the lights? There's more fucking wires. What is this? What, is this? what do they fucking do? Where do they go to? The lights? Damn, man. I thought all the wire would be under the seat. What's growing on there? Is that... Oh, somebody put a piece of foam pad in there to kind of keep it from jiggling, I guess? I don't know. I thought it was fucking something growing. I don't know, man. Some of these people are crazy. Got a broken headlight, broken fiberglass. Let's see if we can get it moving first. Oh, I dug through my uh, crap hole drawer of uh, wires and I barely have anything that size. I got some old. <clears throat> fuck, man. I got some old cables to. Uh, I think this was the Project Boogie Buggy. And uh, this was like one of them that kind of got melted up. So I got some good spots in it cut out. Uh, this one also, I think, was from Project Boogie Buggy, where the, the the guy couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start right and it was arcing. Well, that's because your fucking wire was bad, you dumb shit. And I got some from doing other jobs of rinky-dink wiring around shit. And this stuff's pretty thick, but I don't know if it'll compare to a lot of this. This one here would probably match. It looks like 12 gauge, it might even be 10 gauge wire. So I just gotta. Try to match it up as best I can. In fact, go thicker if, if anything. We won't have that issue anymore. That spring in my bobber, I don't know what I can do with that. Maybe I can weld it back together. <laughs> Let me know if you think that's a good idea. I'll probably do it anyways because the video will be done, but <laughs> we'll find out, right? So I took off this uh, coil, resistor, whatever it is, and it appears to be made out of copper. So I could buy solid copper and recoil it like this, or it was it was all bunched up, or stretch it out like I did, and loop that in here to match like that, and put it on the other side and call it good. I mean, I don't know if there's a certain footage, or inches, or meters, or whatever they use for resistance on this, but I'm thinking uh, we only lost about four inches worth off the uh, other one here. I mean, that looks like maybe eight inches have stretched out now. <laughs> but I gotta get some more fucking battery cables. Looks like 12 inch, maybe 16. So I'm gonna go run to the store, get those. Well, I got this little fucker all bent up and uh, it's looking just like the original days it came off the shelf. Yes it is. Got it kind of polished up too. It's gonna go right back in there. So I've been scratching my ass, not knowing what the fuck goes what and where and who knows how that fucking thing goes, but I got that piece of shit hooked up, which I think is correct. Now this was not hooked to anything, and I know that that has to be powered by something because there's you have to have four going to it. So I figured it was probably to this because that's what was on there, but it wasn't hooked to anything and that was loose, so I unscrewed it hooked it on. I'm hoping that's correct. I don't know where this one goes. It's too small to go on to that one, which is empty. So what I'm figuring is this is the ground, or positive, whatever. And this one here that leads back to the control for forward reverse has got to be the ground or positive. Now, of course, the wires are not the correct color, I don't think. I think this is supposed to be positive, but I could be wrong. So then that leaves us the three wires that came off the uh, motor. Of course, there's four hookups. We had three 
coming off the motor and one that's missing. Of course, we just talked about that. So my guess is the black goes with the black here. So I slid it on because there's nothing holding this yet. It's just how it was. Tighten that bitch up so now she ain't in there all wiggly. I took this one that has red tape on it, put it with the red. And that leaves us with this one. Now, this one I think goes here because there's nothing there and it's loose. It seems like it's kind of bent for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. There's other little red ones, but I think that's for the 12 volt system. These little, these little ones here, this makes 12 volt. So I can just hook it to one battery. Hook this one on the negative. Hook that one on the positive on just one battery. And I think that'll give us our 12 volt system. So I'm gonna put batteries in it. And we're gonna find out what's gonna catch fire and zap my dick off. Oh, 